What's up guys, it is CG back in the vid, and today is, and now today I'm doing another review. Now this one as promised is Life of Pi. Now disclaimer, I did not see Life of Pi recently. I saw Life of Pi on January 29th on American Rep. But it was so impactful, I still want to review it, because I realized there aren't many reviews of this show out on YouTube at all. So I thought I, sh I want to give a review for people to maybe look at before if they're interested in buying tickets. Because I saw the American Rep, and it's going to Broadway. I, um, the show premiered in London, I want to say, in 2018, 2019, maybe? And from there, the show went to American Rep for a month, and now it just started previews last night on Broadway. So, yeah, I saw the American Rep. Now, the plot. Life of Pi. So, basically, the plot of Life of Pi is pot, near the kidney and Pi. He's about 16 years old. He's from India. Pi and his family are moving from India to Canada. With their zoo, with their zoo, with their zoo animals, because the Indian, because they're moving, they were able to get a better deal on the animals in America and Canada than they do in India. When it's on the journey, the ship sinks. Pi and just a few animals are the only survivors of the, of, of the storm by getting on a lifeboat. But after a few days, most of the animals are killed by the others that die, leaving only Pi and the tiger. The story continues, the story then continues with Pi and the tiger living on the boat in a chronicle of their journey. What's so fascinating, how the story is told sort of like, you would think it would be told normally, but it's told like a memory. Like the certain moments the show begins and ends with a memory from Pi as he's retelling the story to some, to different people, to authorities in Mexico in a hospital. And so he's actually telling the story. And so, the, 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 if it sounds familiar, that's because it's based on a book and movie. Based on a book and movie of the same name. The cast. Okay. So, the cast of Life of Pi. The role of Pi is normally played by A.D. Dix. Well, however, when I saw it, it was played by understudy Uma Papajeep. She was amazing in the role. And, brought this, and she brought this sense of wonder that one gets from a child exploring the world. Although Pi is a little bit older, maybe like a little child... There's still a sense of wonder and like enthusiasm about the whole world because Pi never really been out of India. And what I also like is how, how her wide variety. At times she needed to be like courageous and strong, which she did. But other times she needed to be small and tiny, almost like she almost like she's shy at other moments, especially at the beginning when she was still warming up to the to the authorities. Another part I liked person I like was Richard Parker. Now, unfortunately, I don't know who played Richard Parker, because there are three people that puppeteer the Richard Parker, and the fact there were three people were able to do this in unison was amazing, and they were lifeless. Okay, things I liked. The first thing I liked was the staging. I especially liked with the staging how kind of like, how, how, the, how the director didn't just use the stage, he also used the audience. And like, throughout the beginning of the show, not to not to the middle and the end, but really like the beginning. Actors were coming through the audience and onto the stage. Towards the middle and the end, they were still coming from the sides of the audience, but they really stopped from the middle. From the back of the audience, they really stopped going to the back, but during the middle. And it wasn't just actors at the beginning, it was also some of the puppets. Um, some of the puppets made their first entrances, like the, like the um, zebra, made its first entrance through the audience, which I thought was amazing. I kind of gave me, it kind of gave me like Lion King vibes, like Circle of Life opening a Lion King vibes. I really enjoyed that. Another, okay. So I liked the staging because of how cool and innovative it was. Another thing I liked was the set design. What I liked about the set design was like how, what I liked about the set design was like, um, was the ship in, how rather than having the ship come on off stage, it rose from the ground. And it was on a turntable, which helped it move. So when the big storms were happening in the show, when the story car for a big storm, the ship could actually be moving like it was being spun around the storm. I thought of going in an elevator was a genius idea, because throughout the whole show, the sh like I said, it's sort of a memory play. So certain moments they go to the hospital and back, from the ship hospital back to the, sh back to the boat. So because of that, what might what might happen otherwise it could potentially be like overbearing and cumbersome to start the story to move the ship to move the boat I mean off stage. Whereas could that boat goes underneath the stage you can just go underneath and come back up rather than when you wait wait for the boat to go off. So I thought that was genius. Another thing I liked about the set design was how when you walk in you have these two walls in the back of the house. I mean the back of the stage. 
For most of the show, they stay at the back of the stage. But when they go into market, right before they leave, the walls sort of lean in, turn in like this. So that way, we kind of get an interior of the, we, we get a new space for the market. If that makes any sense. Another thing I like was the projections. Now the projections were cool because like, the whole show was like really raining to make it look like it was raining on stage when it was really raining with the waves crashing on a boat. Another thing I liked was when Pi and his family was coming from India across the sea, they had a, they projected a map of the, of, of the earth on the ground. Going back to staging for a second, because I forgot to mention something, I liked how like they used the stage to their advantage. Like they had a turntable, they had elevators, they also um, they also had a trap door which was the hull of the ship, that way they could climb in and out of the ship. Another thing I thought was amazingly cool was how this was a pure at this moment in the show, the audience gasped. I'm not going to mention what it is, but the, if you see it, because I don't want to spoil it, but just something. In the middle of the play, in Act 2, that when you see it, it'll be at, it, your mind will be blown. All I'm saying is it has to do with the stage, and that's all I'm saying, because it's so impactful, I don't want to spoil it for you. It's that good. Um, okay, so I'm raving, so everything I read, so I just raved about the show. So said everything is good. You might be thinking, oh, T -t 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 -t. You don't you you loved it. You don't like there's you loved it. There was nothing bad about it in your opinion. Well, although I loved it, there was a few things I think could be better. One, I felt like the script could be better. What I mean by that was I felt like especially towards the beginning of the show, the show kind of felt dragged on in places where it's kind of like okay, okay, get to it. We're getting to it. C keep keep the pace. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I felt like in my head a little bit, but I I felt like although I felt like ha um as I felt like, when I felt like Act 1's script was a little weak, I felt like Act 2's script was better because it was more interesting because they were on the ship and they were sailing on the sea. And another thing I felt like was emotion. I felt like the emotion could be better. I don't feel like they spent long enough time diving into Pi's emotional state of this, Pi's emotional state. I mean, I don't know how this can be better, but I feel like in some way this should have been better. It should have been better done because I, I mean, I don't know how it could have been better done. I just wish it was just a little bit better because I felt like I didn't get enough time to spend with Pi to wear during the heroing, heroing, heroing moments towards in the middle when Pi was on the boat and like I was supposed to feel emotions for him. I didn't really feel it or I mean, emotion for her. I didn't really feel it because. I didn't have enough time to, I, I didn't really connect with Pi, and I didn't really, well, I didn't really connect with Pi, or, uh, and, um, so I didn't connect with Pi, and didn't feel much emotions from the character, because I had no emotional connection to me. Another thing I felt like could be improved, when I feel like the script could be, like, um, tighter, particularly in, once again, the beginning of the show, in, like, India, and, like, the hospital thing, I feel like they could keep the pace even more. It's a two hour ten show. I honestly feel like they can make it an hour forty five. Cut the intermission, cut fifteen minutes, make it an hour forty five. Heck, I think they could cut twenty from the show and still make it as impactful. I just feel like there are certain moments that could be better. Stars. Okay, overall, I thought the show was four and a half stars. Why did I pick it, you might ask? Well, overall, I feel like the show, while the show has its flaws with the script, I feel like it's overall amazing with the way that they tell the story and the spectacular stagecraft outweighs the shortcomings of the book. And even when I was coming up with why I didn't really like it, I couldn't really describe why I felt the show didn't work. I couldn't really, really pick, pinpoint the moments because everything was so entwined. The stagecraft was so entwined with the story. Like when I was saying the ship was better in Act 2, I was, fine. I was trying to figure out why did I enjoy it better in Act 2. Because I was like, oh, it's more entertaining. Well, that kind of falls more into staging than maybe the script. So I was, I was having a hard time differing the staging from the book, so entwined. That's why I gave it a four and a half. It could have been a five star if the script was better. But it also could have been like a three star, three and a half, four, if if the staging wasn't as good. If you get what I mean. Okay. Who would enjoy the show? I feel like kids, because it, because of the stagecraft, 
in the awe inspiring of it. And this would be a good show for kids maybe first time in the theater. Another, someone else I feel like would enjoy it is Fear of the Book in the Movie because you see your favorite characters on stage. You see all your favorite moments on stage. And the third and final person I feel like would enjoy it is Theater Lovers because you, you truly really get to see one of the best aspects of theater on stage in a must in the show. Immersive. That's what I would really like to describe it, especially the staging is immersive. One last thing, overall thoughts. Life of Pi, I feel like it's an amazing piece of theater, a live theater that's truly extraordinary and shows the show. It shows, um, it shows like this tend not to come around as often. Typically we get more like, um, typically we get more kind of, how can I describe it? We typically get more like heartfelt and emotional shows. I, I, I love heartfelt emotional shows, don't get me wrong. I love all theater, but I just felt like with Life of Pi, a little bit of nostalgia. Because my, it, it brought me back to my beginning of my roots and when I really loved theater, when I fell in love with theater so long ago, when I was seven, almost a little over 11 years ago when I first saw my first part of the show. It brought me back to that where I could care less about the emotion. I mean, I liked it, but I, but I loved spectacle. I loved spectacle when I first well, that was when I got really into theater. And then over time, I, I, I developed appreciation for more emotional, more heartfelt shows. Your, uh, how can I say it, your German Hansons. Your, um, To Kill a Mockingbirds. Uh, um, Kimberly and Akimbo in New York, I really want to see. Shows like that where you're more heartfelt than big, over-the-top numbers. Bum, 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 bum. So yeah, I have more emotional shows than the big over-the-top shows. And then I also, and then also I like this because it really makes you believe in the power of theater and stagecraft. Well, that's it today. Now go to play. I like the show. I would recommend you watch and see my reply. That's it for today. Now go watch your play. And like and subscribe. Peace out, everyone. Tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-a-tick-